Oh, in a game two of the series is going to again be Paul versus Royal Legion. Paul with a 423 v uh, victory point victory. In game one, Royal Legion will have to top that as Axis, and he has chosen Overcommando West against Paul's Soviets. Paul is going to go Armored Assault, insta-picking that so that he would have Radio Intercept against his opponent's uh, build. So we will know that there's no Kubel out yet. Going double conscripts himself. Stern Pioneers making their way towards the central fuel point. SWS looks like it's thinking about setting up a battle group in this area. Folks, Grenadiers are going to head right. Stern Pioneers struggle in initial engagements on this map because they struggle to get into close range. That being said, the huge amount of yellow cover does actually help them get close the distance a little bit sometimes. But it uh, can be very hard to be sneaky with them, set up ambushes and flanks. And Royal Legion is just going to send them right. Folks Grenadiers moving to take control of strategic points in various locations and a Kubel is in production. Sturms get a perfect ambush on those conscripts, despite what I just said. So, forces that retreat easily at the very beginning of the game. And he will throw down some wire ghosts over here. And once those complete, he will be able to completely block Paul's movements over here. Paul is going to go tier 1, by the way. Gets himself a scout card. That's going to be blocked by these reinforced wire barricades as well. And there's a pretty early battle group. Pretty early. It's his third purchase. Just Folks Grenadiers, Kubel Wagon, and then straight to battle group. So fortunately, initial engagements have gone quite well, and he won't be punished too much for that. Paul also having teched will be a little bit slow in his uh, fielding of infantry. So... Won't be punished too much by that decision. A little bit of Paul's own wire going down over here on the left side. Stern Pioneers taking control of the munitions. Focus Grenadiers grabbing the VP and strategic point behind. And no real engagements yet. Paul sending two squads right is going to encounter that reinforced wire barricade. He won't be able to pass through this particular area yet. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Here comes the M3, throwing a flamethrower inside of it soon. And apparently you can run an M3 through that doorway. I did not know that. Now we all know that. Huh. Folks Grenadiers will encounter some conscripts over here on the right side and the M3 is moving to chase down these Folks Grenadiers. That grenade toss was... Uh... Very optimistic. <laughs> Very optimistic grenade toss right there. Unfortunately, it does not connect. The M3 is undamaged and will move to gun down these Folks Grenadiers on retreat. And it doesn't look like they have any realistic chance of getting to safety. Unless Paul chases a little sloppily right there. He kind of messed that maneuver up. I, I don't know. Maybe these Folks Grenadiers will get away. Okay. Love you too. And there's a second M3 on the field, flanking behind this Google wagon for these conscripts. That stuff is all gonna die for sure. There goes the Kubel Wagon Flamethrower going in hard on the Stern Pioneers. Has an extremely good chance of wiping them. Rakenwerfer is in production. Paul uh, going, uh, mellowing it up a little bit. <laughs> Ever so slightly. He's probably gonna stop at two M3s, but... There go the Stern Pioneers. Off to a horrible start here for Royal Legion, who has lost a full squad of Sturms and his Kuba Wagon to a Tier 1 opening. And mobility is very powerful on this map. It really is. Being able to chase down and kill squads on retreat like this, that's another wipe. 
That means this game's very unlikely to be recoverable by Royal Legion unless Paul parks in front of this Rakenwarfer with his scout cars, which I don't think he's going to do. I think Royal Legion needed to throw down some early mines to protect that Kubel when he saw that his opponent had gone tier 1. Unfortunately, he had no such protection, and Paul was easily able to bully him off the field with this. Conscripts plus M3 engaging against this Folks Grenadier squad might be picking up another wipe right here. Flamethrower just popped and the Rakettenwerfer is over here. So squad had no chance of getting to safety. Royal Legion reduced to two squads remaining in addition to his battle group headquarters. Has no map control at all and triple cap will begin taking against him at six and a half minutes. I don't think it's even possible for this game to be going any worse. Regardless, Royal Legion will build himself tier 3, throw on fuel transfer, and try and make his way towards Flak Half Track, and he's fielded him, him himself a squad of Panzer Fusiliers. One squad of Folks Grenadiers working on the right side, and Paul doesn't feel comfortable sticking around, so we will retreat that wounded squad of conscripts. And I'm, uh, pretty sure this game is over, so I'm gonna just lock the camera onto this M3 and go grab myself some very badly needed coffee. I'll be right back. Enjoy the rest of this stomp. <laughs> I don't suppose uh, Re Royal Legion made some sort of miracle comeback in the last few minutes. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Apparently he lost another squad. His folks Grenadiers are all dead now. <laughs> Only three squads of Panzer Fusiliers left. Uh, things are not going well. Green cover position defending there, there. Paul is going to be forced to backpedal slightly over here on the right side. Here comes a flank from these two scout cars freshly repaired. Molotov will flush those fusiliers out of cover, both of them uh, exchanging cover positions slightly. Conscripts pulling ahead in this engagement. Counter grenade, no reaction by Paul. Does pretty good damage actually. I think that's the first engagement that Royal Legion has won this game. It's gotta feel good. Unfortunately at the exact same moment the scout cars are flanking this for Kedmorfer over here. And it's dead. So that's that engagement. Raquette and Warfare easily stolen. Puma is in production, but it's far too late. Far too late to save the day. Fire! 
Stolen or Kenworfer is a very serious threat to this battle group, by the way. There's not really anything available to defend this thing against it. It's probably just going to walk up and start shooting it. The squad of Fusiliers is making its way left to maybe try and get control of the munitions point. Combat engineers throwing up a lot of fuel caches in the back. Two going up, so that's 400 manpower being spent by Paul. Not that he can't afford it. He's way ahead for manpower. Way ahead. Hello, Carilio. Benedrix, I actually highly recommend that you download Auto Hotkey. That's what I use to open the tactical map. I'm not using the numpad, I'm using my mouse. I'm using this uh, thumb button on my mouse to open the tactical map. Most players that actually make use of the tactical map, map, tactical map do the same thing. Our kitten warfer is going to destroy that. The Puma also doesn't want to have to deal with a Raquette Morpher, so <laughs> its movements are going to be somewhat limited. Fortunately, Paul does not have AT grenades yet. Puma's too late to save the uh, the battle group, though. And I'm pretty sure KMA Royal Legion knows that there's not going to be any winning this game. He's completely shut down. And Paul will take the series. Pretty quick 25-minute victory for Paul, and his reign is off to an excellent start. Well played, Paul. We'll jump into the next series soon.